Hey, it's Eka Kumar, so my name is Kid Guru. This is another Mac vs. PC video. First off, I want to start by saying you haven't seen Emix, uh, not latest, but four videos back. Uh, Windows, Strange Window Facts. I highly, rec you ch highly recommend you check it out. It'll be, uh, a response to this video. It'll be responded to that video, so you can click the link below or, uh, search it up. It's a great video from Emix, and I used one of his, uh, things that really interested me on the average Wintel home user spends between 50 to 60 hours each year troubleshooting their computers and you know it's even here on google i was searching it up and it's the third result right from the get-go if you type in if you type in uh... the average you know i just typed in the average user spends how much time on a uh, troubleshooting a computer and that was the third one that came up now the average mac user spends less than five hours uh... wait let me just read on the article. spends less than uh... Says, uh, oh wow, less than five hours now. Imagine that compared to fifty to even sixty. Okay, I'll get into that. I'll come in later within the troubleshooting. But uh, anyway, my first topic I want to talk about today is Dell. Now, a lot of people I've been PC users I've been seeing talking about. Well, they got Dell, and you know all this stuff is contributing to PCs, and that's why you know they're the best. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna argue with it. Dell is a great brand. I, I, you know, they make good quality products and good computers. You know, uh, their laptops are really getting up there f up to the XPSs are a great uh, line of uh, Dell products that they're releasing and as far as uh, I know Dell's doing a pretty good job lately so uh, I'll give them props for that though uh, it's it makes up most of the market share for PCs and market share is pretty much how people, uh, companies can tell how their products are doing as well as consumer, you know, consumer buying. Now, you don't want to know why, because Dell makes up most these computers make up a lot of the business world. So Dell computers are really, really important. You know, a lot of laptops are Dell. You know, a lot of the uh, desktops are Dell in the offices. Now, in schools, I know my school, all of the computers in my school are Dell. Dell laptops, Dell desktops, uh, Dell monitors, Dell mouses, Dell keyboards, all of them are sponsored by Dell. Other schools around, you know, uh, the world are using, you know, Dell. Most of them are, you know, there's other ones too, but most of these uh, PC market shares are made from Dell. And, you know, uh, this is another reason why Windows is famous, because they always run Windows... Uh, they usually only run uh, Windows unless you're they have a school and you're lucky enough to get you know the Macs and that's what. But uh, other than that, this is why a lot of your market share, you PC users talking about are Dell. Now you think may think, oh yeah, that's, why is that good for the Mac? Well, uh, Dell would uh, does it Mark uh, Michael Dell does it even really the owner of Dell does it even really. Uh, want to run Windows on a thing anymore? He sees Apple, and he would, uh, you know, he've, uh, I guess, he's really seen, you know, Apple and the Macs and their potential, and he want, he would, uh, ra much rather run uh, Mac OS X than Windows. Now, see, I'm not bashing their products because the Dells are great, but the Dells are great, but the OS is talking, and I, I have proof of. It you know, there's a lot of news and bulletins about it, and uh, I'm just going to read you this one right here. Uh, Dell, on the other hand, holds considerable power as the largest seller of personal computers. See, that's what I was talking about. It already offers Linux as a Microsoft server platform. So, see, uh, you know, besides uh, Microsoft, they offer uh, Linux because, you know, a whole new OS and everything. They offer that as a uh, server alternative platform. See, already, why? You know they don't really want to run Windows. They also say, "quote here, if Apple decides to open the Mac OS to all others, we would be happy to offer it to our customers." Dell said, "Dell declined to elaborate public uh, publicly any further." So again, read this quote: "If Apple decides to open Mac OS to others, we would happy to offer it to our customers." As you see there, Dell, if Mac and you know Apple decides to release their OS to other platforms. 
Dell would happily, you know, accept and drop Windows in a heartbeat. So, you know, if this happens, if Steve Jobs hasn't said anything on this, but, you know, if Michael Dell and Steve Jobs associate and, you know, the, the topic, you know, really grows on and Apple's not only going to gain a lot of market share, but a lot of publicity as well. And Windows is if pr probably virtually going to drop from every machine from there on that when Dell makes it, if that. I, I think that's probably going to happen in the year of 08, you know. It, you know, th that deal will probably be made between Steve Jobs and Michael Dell. Second topic, prices. A lot of people are complaining over max or over price. Well, yeah, they cost a lot, but you get a good quality product out of it. Now, if you save your money and you save up for a Mac, you're getting what you're getting your money's worth. Uh, you know, it just works great. It this, you know, you get great performance, great uh, programs, great all these applications. You get a great design, of course, and you get a great product that will last you much longer than you know some other product, you know, other uh, computers out there. So you're really going for a great product when you're buying these now there's nothing wrong with trying something new you know there's a lot of other users there's even you know PCs in general there a lot of people try these out then try out the Mac you know why Use you know a G4 Cube or a Mac Mini. Well, your your money's worth. So last topic: troubleshooting. Now this is where that thing I talked. You know, I've seen this. You know, uh, troubleshooting. You're saying that you know all the. Especially for moldy toaster, talking about these errors now. Windows has errors as well. Any OS, Linux, they all have errors. The troubleshooting is just even. Or get their problem fixed. And you know, customers and, uh. Always gets, you know, there's always a hassle. And then, uh. You know, this t t uh, kind of gets into Apple has, you know, I'm going to state this. I, uh, I, I totally think Apple has great customer. Pro model and. That's great. Then you know it's gonna take time though to fix everything. Especially with the computer, the uh, com illiterate, illiterate computer users, I guess I should say. Really gonna need you know step by step instructions if you can't give them that. It's a big thing. help the consumer out then they're gonna not want to use your product anymore and that's a big thing that Apple offers customers they're always thinking of their customers first PCs don't they PCs uh, you know companies some of them really do you know really put their customers for others don't and other you know I'm not gonna say every way but you know if you Really gonna change the publicity of any product, you know, no matter what it is, because if it's not good, well, uh, that's all I have to say for today. And uh, again, I want to thank Emig for that video and all those facts and uh, all the articles I found. But, anyways, uh,